Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Nature Time with Nathan Prey. That's me. I'm Nathan. And uh, I just want to say it's been a long time since we've uh, done one of these episodes, so it's good to be back. So let's talk about what's happening in nature in August. This is a busy month and many of us are already outside engaging in lots of activities, seeing friends and families uh, and having social events as well as getting exercise. Because right now, besides these uh, thunderstorms, it's not really good to be inside. Um, but as you may notice, there's a thunderstorm approaching as I am now, so I might go to somewhere a little more comfortable, a little more uh, protected from the rain. Join me in one second. Nature has provided us with a bounty this month of things to see and enjoy. Let's start off with the moths and butterflies. It is actually National Moth Week as we speak. Some moth species are active during the day, and the best way to observe them is by visiting blooming flowers. Others are nocturnal. One of the best ways to uh, observe moths right now is to hang a white cotton sheet up outside, maybe an old bed sheet from your parents. Then get a flashlight and shine it at the white cloth during the nighttime. Lights with a large spectrum are best including UV lights. Black lights can be purchased at Canadian Tire and uh, mercury vapor lights work best and uh, they can be found at some pet smarts. So you can find them, um, one of the ones that might be for your reptile that will do the job. Otherwise it's best to avoid LED lights as they have a very narrow spectrum and won't attract that many moths. Some of the cool moths you may see right now are the Twin Spotted Sphinx, the Io Moth, the Ultrana Underring, the Woes Maple Moth, and the Painted Lichen Moth. Or you can just see the ones hanging around your house outside when you leave a light on at night. That's usually how I do it. Either way, this is a great activity for all ages to observe some wonderful creatures right in your backyard. As for butterflies, this is a great time to observe your plants in your, in your backyard and around uh, your area. For our caterpillars, such as my favorite, the Spicebush Swallowtail. Also, a lot of people are pretty excited about the uh, monarch caterpillars because it's great to see them uh, planting milkweed for them so that we can encourage them and try to regain their populations because they have declined significantly over the years, but they are starting to come back. However, I did recently go into a beautiful marsh in Algonquin, the Nipissing, and was blown away by the dragonflies and uh, damselflies and skippers, species I haven't seen in such abundance since I was a kid fishing Long Pond in Rondo. It was a magical time. As for your birds and wildlife, they're pretty quiet this time of year, uh, keeping to themselves and usually avoiding the midday heat. If you see one like this moose I saw, consider yourself lucky. Otherwise, I suggest you go pay attention to something like flowers. There are some great flowers in bloom right now, particularly from your native collection, the smooth oxi, the purple cone flower, the dense blazing star, the cardinal flower, which is also very good at attracting hummingbirds, and one of my favorites, the smooth blue aster. And as for trees in August, it's not a very showy month for most of them. A nice beauty right now might be the smoke bush, something to look out for. And you can see it by these nice uh, grayish purplish flowers that kind of will give it a nice little smoky haze from far away. I also just love the sound of August, which is cicadas coming from the trees. They always make it sound like they're coming from the power lines and they're just buzzing with electricity. Just love that sound. I love sitting out on uh, the porch with a nice cold glass of lemonade, just listening to the uh, being serenaded by the cicadas. It's just a great sound to have as you're uh, theme song to the middle end of summer. Now looking up in the sky at night, it is one of the best and my favorite times of the year as the uh, Perseid meteor showers are out and about. This shower is active now and will last until about August 24th. It will peak on August 13th at around uh, 4 o'clock in the morning where there will be about one to two meteorites every minute. It's almost like you can't miss them if you're looking up at the sky. but if you are looking up, it's best to face northeast and try to look for the uh, Perseid constellation. I wish upon this star to be David Suzuki. Maybe next time. The August moon is also known as the honeymoon month 
as this is the month that uh, beekeepers usually harvest honey. It is also a good month to go on your honeymoon if you are superstitious. Things to look forward to are also you got peaches and corn season. I also noted that the wild blueberries are uh, out up north and have just started, but they should peak in the next few weeks. Nice little tasty treat on your campsite and portages. I think that's about all for now, folks. Thanks for watching, and I'd love to hear what you're excited about to experience in August. Also, I'm not sure how many people find value in this show, so I really like the support I get from people, such as likes and comments, as well as sharing. Thank you all for watching, and hopefully we'll see you next month for September which is also going to be exciting with the changing of the season coming.